Uh, my name's Mark and this is my 1972 Plymouth Fury Custom Suburban Station Wagon. Um, I've been into cars since before I could drive. Um, before I could drive I bought myself a Morris Minor and I thought I'd restored it but I didn't because I used parts of old washing machines to repair it and pub riveted the inner wings on. Um, first actual car was a Ford Anglia. I've done MGs, I've been into um, uh, Westfield sports cars I've had, I've done the Volkswagen scene, uh, I got into my first American car about 15 years ago, um, it was um, a Pontiac Bonneville, 76 Pontiac Bonneville and I've never looked back since, I've always had American cars for the last 15, 15 or so years. I bought this car, I wanted something different to my previous car which was a 59 Coupe de Ville Cadillac which was my dream car. Uh, I sold that for personal reasons. My mum uh, was ill and she loved going in the car and I didn't really want to drive the car anymore. And I wanted something completely different. This is completely different. Whereas the Cadillac was immaculate, with the chrome, and I was worried about it getting scratched and I was worried about it getting dirty. I was worried about leaving it. This one, I'm not so worried about doing any of those things. I can just take it, leave it anywhere. Uh, I got this car. The actual day I got this car was the day I saw my Cadillac. Um, I had um, a, um, a warning saved on my phone if anything came up on eBay for American station wagons. And I was waving the guy off with my Cadillac to, when he was buying it, he drove off in it. My phone pinged, looked at my phone, this came up, went to see it the next day and I bought it, the very next day. Um, the car physically looked similar to it is now. It was patinaed. Uh, the story goes that the guy left it parked up in Albuquerque. It was in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and it was under a dust cover. And a tree had dropped sap onto the dust cover. It was outside. And um, the sun had burnt through. So when he took the sheet off, this is what he found. But that's the reason I bought it, because it looks like this. The, the car came over. It was used as storage. Uh, the guy brought it over. It was into motorcycle parts. And he used it as a container and he loaded it to the gunnels with motorcycle parts, put the car in a container, brought it over and he advertised the car for sale. It wasn't registered in the UK. I actually got it registered in the UK. Um, got a lot of waves. Uh, I think the waves. Some people use only two fingers when they're waving. But generally it's positive. I think people generally like the car. When I go to shows, it does generate a lot of more interest than I thought. I think it's because it's just different. It's not your average car that turns up at a show. I'm not going to get a rag out and polish it at a show. Um, in fact, I have to, with my old Cadillac, I was worried when children lent on it if they were going to scratch it. With this, I'm worried that they're going to get covered in oil and grease for touching it. Because instead of polishing it, I uh, grease it and oil it. When I got the car, I was repairing the headlights and the headlights come up electrically. And I did get my, that's how they come down. And I actually got my hand stuck underneath when I was, uh, I had my hand under here. And it dropped down, took me by surprise. I've never done it again. Couldn't wave back like uh, people were waving at me <laughs> for a couple of days. 